Hello friends and enemies. For today's video, we will be discussing Only the Pain Can Cure Us, a 2020 album by Peruvian post-punk project Something Obscura. Something Obscura appears to be a solo project by the artist that also goes by the name of Non Loop. Genre-wise, aside from being generally post-punk, it is described in all the descriptions as Dark Wave. Another common descriptor is shoegaze. That's right, I left out a goth gaze band on my list video of Latin American goth gaze artists, even though this one definitely counts. I always forget at least one band in these list videos, okay? This album was released by Peruvian indie label In Club Records, a label that we mention quite a bit that specializes in dark alternative genres. Before we get much further, I would like to remind you to leave a comment and subscribe if you want more content related to goth music from Latin America. Interestingly, a few of these songs were previously released back in 2018, though this album did not come out in full until 2020. I found this to be a very engaging, encompassing sort of album with an almost cinematic feel at times. Across the 10 songs featured on this album, I would consider them all to be within the shoegaze category in that we have those swirly pedals go on the guitars and vocals throughout. However, they change up from song to song. Sometimes we have a more dancey, dark wave feel, while others have a more hard rocking feel, almost veering off into post-rock, though I would not consider it that specifically. Most of them fall more into the latter category. If I had to compare them to any bands, they remind me a lot of a shoegaze version of Fields of the Nephilim or The Mission. Fun fact, Something Obscura has done covers of the song Swan Song and Serpent's Kiss by The Mission, though neither of them are featured on this album, so that influence seems pretty spot on right there. Something I found very interesting is that the guitar definitely sounded more acoustic at times, but still had the reverb effects applied. I suppose that could have been added post-recording, but it is initially jarring to hear because we associate pedal effects with the electric guitar. We still do mostly have an electric guitar, which is not only reverbed up, but also distorted. As far as I can tell, all of the songs are in English. The in-club release of the album does not have lyrics listed, and in typical shoegaze form, you can't really understand a lot of the lyrics, but they are listed on the single releases on the regular Something Obscura Bandcamp page. The lyrics all evoke feelings of sadness and missing someone, whether due to death or a breakup or something like that. To describe those emotions, there are some more symbolic descriptions with lots of references to mythic creatures like vampires and ghosts and gods even, but also more literal references to feelings of sadness and hate and brokenheartedness. I liked that. Whichever method you prefer to express your emotions, be it with mythic symbolism or just saying it outright, you've got it here. There are also a lot of references to time and endlessness and memories. I feel this is a really good subject to cover with shoegazy music because with the nature of reverb and all those swirly pedals, it evokes repetition and memory, a looking back or dreamlike feel. So that was that. Uh, the song you heard at the beginning was A Real Place in a False Broken Mirror. Listed below, I have all of Something Obscura's social media links if you'd like to buy their music or follow them, including the link to the In Club Records release of this album if you want to buy it in full. If you want to hear more about Latin American goth music, I invite you to follow me here on YouTube and also my other social media accounts, which are in my link tree listed below. Please, if you want this, this video to do better, I invite you to like, comment, and share. Until next time, bye now.